everyone. Good morning. It is my last day in Berkeley. And so I'm going to make myself a little bit of cereal here. Um, and then I have some errands to run. Um, I'm feeling really weird about starting my trip to, um, to Oregon. <laughs> um, I don't feel prepared for it. Pouring cereal is distracting. It's more distracting than I thought it would be. But yeah, I don't feel prepared uh, at all. Um, but basically, I do not like that you don't camera. But basically, um, today. I need to go to my mailbox and set up mail forwarding um, so I can get my mail forwarded to Oregon while I'm there. Um, I prefer not to get a lot of packages if I can. Um, so hopefully I won't get anything large because basically I'm going to leave them a deposit. And the deposit covers the cost of forwarding mail to me while I'm away. And so, not going to be a big deal if it's just paper mail. Going to be a big deal if it's like big op objects. Um, so that's going to be a thing for the next couple of months. And I'm just, I'm feeling really, really weird. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but right now, today, I'm going to start driving this evening. But for today... The goal is to um, take care of my mail forwarding. I did laundry last night so that I have a reasonable amount of clothes. Um, I can The first day I can use my housing in Oregon is the 5th. It is currently the 28th. Um, and I was planning to take a slow trickle trip up to Oregon. Check out some of the places that were mentioned in the last live stream. Um, and people that have put in my comments since that live stream where I announced I was going to be going to Oregon for two months. And so those are the things I plan to check out. Um, and that's how I'm feeling right now. Like really nervous about, you know, doing those things. There's other stuff I have to do besides mail. Hmm. I'm in a, I'm a good enough state with food to travel. I'm probably going to get some water. But I don't feel prepared. Like, I feel like I'm missing things and forgetting things. <laughs> but it's not like I'm going in the middle of nowhere. I am going to be in a town where there are resources at the end of the day. Um, and, oh, I need to fill up gas. I definitely, actually, I don't know. As I move up towards Oregon, gas might get cheaper. So maybe, maybe I want to test my luck along the way. I don't know. Uh, I got about half a tank of gas, gas right now. It's kind of weird because when you live in a house, like you pack to go somewhere. And since I'm taking my whole house with me, there's really no packing. It's more like what's business that I need to take care of that's going to be problematic when I'm not in the state for two months. And that's more the complication here. Um, and let's face it, most of my working life is very much around this area. And even when I've left to go on trips like RTR or the time I went down to Slab City, like it wasn't for like long-term work. It was like a short enough time to be gone that you could just leave and sort of come back. But two months is a lot, especially for what I have lined up um, once I come back and also concerns with mail. So... I need to get myself set up and sort of that's what that day is going to be about. So I'm going to eat my cereal here and then we'll check back in. Alright, so I just pulled into my mailbox location. 
So I'm gonna go in, see what I can do to get my mail forwarded for the amount of time I'm gonna be gone. You're supposed to pay for the meter um, but for the amount of time it takes me to just run in check my mailbox and come back out like I've never been ticketed really if I do get a ticket one day it's kind of my fault but like for that like 10 to 15 minutes I just don't see the point so I never actually pay for the meter and I've always gotten away with it sometimes I throw my flashers on so it really looks like it's a quick in and out but the purpose of it being a one hour meter is the fact that the street is basically places where they want you to quickly get in and quickly get out and not be docked for a long time so right now I am gonna go throw 20 bucks in the tank and then I can officially get going I took care of everything I needed to get this morning so I guess now it's time to go reached the end of travel day one I am currently posted up in a Denny's parking lot um, right next to an RV the interesting is thing is it's my dream RV I don't know how many people have heard of it but it's the Thor Majestic it's like a 21 foot RV um, so it's very tiny it's rare to find RVs in that class size the body is nice like everything about this RV is like ideal for somebody who also likes vans but is thinking about RVs like I can't praise this thing enough unfortunately it's very rare hard to find um and and just not easy to get so I don't really see me getting it in the future but if there was any RV that ever checked all the boxes for me um it would make me make me choose it over a van or some other customizable customizable my is a bull vehicle um thor majestic would do it i love that it has a cab over bed so that the whole ground space stays your living space um so yeah i've looked up this rv i've looked into it but i don't see it being financially reasonable for me a lot of the ones available now are very high mileage i don't think um they produce it anymore um i don't know how popular a 21 foot rv was um, people who go into RVs are a lot of times looking for bigger ones. Um, so yeah. But, um, I originally was headed down, uh, Highway 1, um, 
basically because I was like, oh, this is like the scenic route along the coast. And it was a great idea, sort of, while the sun was out. I took a couple of diversions that weren't that great and really nothing worth stopping for, nothing worth recording. And so I kept going and then, I, and then the sun fell and I really hated it. Like there were these tiny windy roads, these very tight turns and these are not for decoration. I can barely see. So I hate driving at night on well-lit city streets. It's even worse when you're driving at night on these tiny road, twisty roads that you're not familiar with. Um, and so I've cut back over to the 101, um, and then just gone a bit off the road to find, like, a safe place to bed down for the night. Um, so it was great during the day hours, or it was okay, it was even kind of pretty, but, you know, after a while, it was just a scary dark road, um, with way too many tight, twisty turns, and I just wanted some safe, brightly lit highway. <laughs> <laughs> and there wasn't a place I felt safe pulling off. Um, I lost my Wi-Fi signal. I mean, like, I'm glad I did it. Like, I think doing things that scare you a little bit is good for you and coming out the other end. But eh, I don't know that I'd make that choice during the nighttime to make that drive again. But I tried it. Um, so I think I'm going to be using the 101 the rest of the way up. Uh, but yeah, that's my check-in for, for end of day. Um, and I will start a new vlog in the morning. Probably after I edit this and get it uploaded to YouTube. Alright, peace.